Trinity moment number two. Belief that Jesus is the Father is required for salvation. You say, okay, let's look at the scriptures. John chapter 8, verse 19. Then said they unto him, Where is thy father? Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my father. If ye had known me, ye should have known my father also. Jesus is the father, in other words. These words spake Jesus in the treasury, as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then said Jesus again unto them, I go my way, and ye shall seek me, and shall die in your sins. Whither I go, ye cannot come. Then said the Jews, Will he kill himself, because he saith, Whither I go, ye cannot come. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. Hmm. Jesus has connection to the soul of the Godhead, which is in heaven, and yet in Jesus at the same time. The Bible says of a Christian that we are seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus right now. Our soul, I have a soul within my body, and yet that soul is seated together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus right now. So if we can do it as a Christian, certainly God manifest in the flesh can do it. That's what's going on there. But look at verse 24, John chapter 8, verse 24, for all you Trinity people. I said therefore unto you that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, ye shall die in your sins. I am he? What is he saying? What's the context? They said, where's your father at? And Jesus says, if ye believe not that I am he, he's talking about the father, God the father. If you don't believe that I am God the father, in other words, you're going to die in your sins. Jump down to verse 56 in John chapter 8. Your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day, and he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. That is God the Father's title. What's their reaction? Then took they up stones to cast at him, but Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. You say, oh, you're saying that the gospel now is, is that you have to believe that Jesus is God the Father. Oh, this is heresy. This is heresy. Acts chapter 20, verse 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock of God, or unto all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God, which he hath purchased with his own blood. Hmm. So God the Father, His blood was the blood that was shed on the cross. That's the blood of Jesus that was shed. You say, well, no, that's then Jesus is another God. It's the two gods, God the Son, God the Father. And that's not what it says. God the Son appears nowhere in the King James Bible. You see, Jesus Christ is God, fully, completely God. That's just the way it is. And if you don't believe in that, if you say, well, no, he's not the Father. They're, not, they're separate. They're two different, completely different beings. They have different bodies and whatever else. You're going to die in your sins. Only the blood of Jesus Christ, if it's God's blood, only that blood can save you. You don't believe that? You're going to hell. 